The disciples had communities that evolved around them, and they each had their own particular way of describing this man, Jesus of Nazareth, and what he taught and what he did. Four of those became authorized. They're the canonical Gospels that we have in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. After the fourth century, however, all of the other texts that existed about the stories and teachings of Jesus were banned. Those banned books were primarily burned and destroyed and thought lost throughout the centuries. The only references that we had for all of those years were the writings of the church fathers who disagreed with them, who saw them as being even dangerous. We're so lucky that beginning in the late 19th century, many of these texts were discovered, most of them in caves in Egypt. And those are the stories then that we've been reclaiming and that form the basis of much of Mark's opera, The Gospel of Mary. One of the things that was considered dangerous was that rather than relying on ecclesiastical authority for grace through the sacraments, through the bishops, through the priests, what these so-called Gnostic texts do is that they invite the individual to find Jesus Christ in the depths of their own heart. And they really point to this idea that the authentic spiritual life is the one that you, as an individual, find within your own human heart. Well, you can see why that would be a, a rather dangerous teaching, because it subverts the authority of the established church to say, oh, you don't need a priest, you don't need outward sacraments, you just need to find this sense of the sacred within your own being. Would it have been as dangerous to say Reformation priests as, as to the Catholic Church? I think it's safe to say as much so or more so than that. One of the lines in the Gospel of Mary says, Beware of those who tell you here it is, or there it is, for the kingdom of heaven lies within you. Well, that's a pretty heretical teaching at different points in time in history.